to meet you. I would like to introduce the root drainage system in Tingira area at YMK Jerry campus. For your information, a root drainage system is to remove the water from its roots and the surroundings. As you can see, the root condition at Tingira area is lack of maintenance with a lot of pits. So, how about the root drainage system at here? Let us take a look. It is obvious that the root drainage system was just built and is located at only one side of the root. However, the dewatering system is poor. This may be due to the inappropriate use of root structure design and the root surface materials. Therefore, this video will further discuss about the poor root drainage system impacts on the environment, its monitoring and mitigation methods. Okay, so there are several bad impacts of this road drainage system. Firstly, it can cause the water accumulation which cause flooding. So uh, the water accumulates at the surrounding area uh, might destroy the plant and reduce the oxygen level in soil. Okay, so next impact is the it can cause the accumulation of stagnant water which can encourage the growth of mosquitoes. So the overgrowth of mosquitoes can lead to dengue fever and affect human health. Example of the stagnant water. Okay, so the another impact of this root drainage system is it is unable to remove toxic materials efficiently due to the blockage in the drains by the dead plants. Okay, so the failure of each drainage, also the improper curb drainage, can cause uh, the difficulty to remove toxic materials. Noise is also the bad impact. The condition of road reflect the noise level. Poor condition of road, as we can see right now, um, and vehicle traveling fast cause more noise than if the roads in better condition. Noise disturbance may cause irritation to local residents. Next bad impact is dust. Dust occur on dry season. Gravel and crushed gravel always contain a proportion of fines and if the water materials is dry, a fairly heavy dust cloud and can be raised when it can be mobilized. Dust can disturb population and local environment which can affect human health and also may spread into river nearby and cause cloudiness to water. Lastly, flood risk in rainy season. The depth of river is a factor of flood risk. The erosion of soil beside the river and uncontrolled growth of plant without the decreasing depth of the river. When heavy rainfall occur, the river may not be able to accommodate the rainfall and resulted river flood. Environmental monitoring is the process of sampling and analyzing specific environmental media such as water, soil and air for evidence of contaminants levels over time. In the case of water quality monitoring, chemical conditions is the key importance focusing on the presence of oxygen, nutrients and heavy metal contaminants in the water. Biochemical oxygen demand BOD, is a chemical procedure to determine the amount of dissolved oxygen needed by the aerobic biological organism in a body of water to break down organic materials present in the given water sample at a certain temperature and at a specific period of time. For this experiment, BOD is expressed in milligrams of oxygen consumed per litre of sample during 5 days of incubation at 20 degrees Celsius and often used as a strong indicator of the degree of organic pollution of water. When the greater the value, the more rapidly oxygen is depleted in the stream means less oxygen is available to higher forms of aquatic life. We did environmental monitoring to analyze the chemical oxygen demand COD level from the water sample that we take from the root drainage system. We also use the water sample to determine the quality of oxygen required to oxidize the organic matter in water. In this experiment, first step we need to do is blend the water sample to ensure they are mixed well, then incubate them in calorimeter for 2 hours. After 2 hours, water sample was cooled down for 30 minutes before taking COD reading. 
The result of COD should be considered an independent test from BOD and will generate a higher concentration within than BOD. We will test the water quality here by using YSL multiparameter. Why we want to test the water quality here? It is because we want to know or we want to determine whether this uh, drainage water uh, is polluted or not. And uh, we also want to know the suitability uh, of uh, the suitability of the drainage water for intended use and its impact on environmental and health concerns. Uh, YSL multi-permitter can uh, measure 13 parameters such as pH, ORP, temperature, dissolved oxygen, conductivity, total dissolved solid, salinity, resistivity, specific conductance, ammonium, nitrate chloride and barometric pressure. So, by using YSL parameter, we can know the characteristics or properties of the drainage water here. Mitigation. What is mitigation? Mitigation is defined as taking special action uh, taking special action to eliminate, lessen or replace environmental values where those values are disturbed by human activities. From this sampling side, there are masses of problems happens as mentioned by my friend before. There are several methods to improve the drainage system in this side. First, um, we need to res uh, do a restoration or enhancement in this side is in terms of this river. For example, finish the drainage ditches to allow uh, addressing hydric soil to return to the natural function functional wetland system. Other examples include creating artificial artificial uh, ripples or a shady spot in a natural stream to enhance uh, the flow of the soil. Next is closed tile drain which is include the subsurface pipes made of burnt clay concrete, polyvinyl chloride, PVC or a similar material of various length laid to collect and carry excess water from the roads to the stream. Third, is uh, the man-made open ditches they are characterized by a long fairly straight stitches with a uniform side slope depth and a bottom width with a fairly uniform grade. In many cases these drains are filled with dirt and dead can with an unpleasant smell. Upon rainy season uh, it will overflow and cause uncomfortable drawbacks to the user and also especially to the students of University of Malaysia Klanta. Next mitigation measure is on the water pollution impacts. We can do COD or BOD test to test the water quality. Besides that, on the landslide impacts, to avoid landslides to happen, developer or government need to approach a few measures which is the, the hills on the river side must be built with stones or concrete to make coal to install parts so the water from the groundwater when raining mainly will go through smoothly. Lastly, the impacts on the unsafe construction site causing unwanted event. The mitigation measure is developer or government need to do monthly or yearly check on the works to keep the area safe for the people to go through.